the forced cremation of Strasbourg's Jews on St. Valentine's Day, February 14, 1349, about the Great Plague and the burning of the Jews. In the year 1349, there occurred the greatest epidemic that ever happened. Death went from one end of the earth to the other, on that side and on this side of the sea, and it was greater amongst the Saracens, Muslims, than among the Christians. In some lands, everyone died so that no one was left. Ships were also found on sea, laden with wares. The crew had all died, and no one guided the ship. The Bishop of Marseille and priests and monks and more than half of all the people there died with them. In other kingdoms and cities, so many people perished that it would be horrible to describe. The Pope at Avignon stopped all sessions of court, locked himself in a room, and allowed no one to approach him, and had a fire burning before him all the time. And from what this epidemic came, all wise teachers and physicians could only say that it was God's will. And as the plague was now here, so it was in other places, and lasted more than a whole year. This epidemic also came to Strasbourg in the summer of the above-mentioned year, and it is estimated that about 16,000 people died. In the matter of this plague, the Jews throughout the world were reviled and accused in all lands of having caused it through the poison which they are said to have put into the water and the wells. That is what they were accused of. And for this reason, the Jews were burnt all the way from the Mediterranean into Germany, but not in Avignon, for the Pope protected them there. Nevertheless, they tortured a number of Jews in Bern and Zoffingen, Switzerland, who then admitted that they had put poison into many wells, and they also found the poison in the wells. Thereupon, they burnt the Jews in many towns and wrote of this affair to Strasbourg, Freiburg, and Basel, in order that they too should burn their Jews. But the leaders in these three cities in whose hands the government lay did not believe that anything ought to be done to the Jews. However, in Basel, the citizens marched to the city hall and compelled the council to take an oath that they would burn the Jews, and that they would allow no Jew to enter the city for the next 200 years. Thereupon, the Jews were arrested in all these places, and a conference was arranged to meet at Benfeld, Alsace, February 8, 1391. The Bishop of Strasbourg, Berthold II, all the feudal lords of Alsace, and representatives of the three above-mentioned cities came there. The deputies of the city of Strasbourg were asked what they were going to do with their Jews. They answered and said that they knew no evil of them. Then they asked the Strasburgers why they had closed the wells and put away the buckets, and there was a great indignation and clamor against the deputies from Strasbourg. So finally the bishop, the lords, and the imperial cities agreed to do away with the Jews. The result was that they were burnt in many cities, and wherever they were expelled, they were caught by the peasants and stabbed to death or drowned. On Saturday, that was St. Valentine's Day, they burnt the Jews on a wooden platform in their cemetery. There were about 2,000 people of them. Those who wanted to baptize themselves were spared. Some say that about a thousand accepted baptism. Many small children were taken out of the fire and baptized against the will of their fathers and mothers. And everything that was owed to the Jews was canceled, and the Jews had to surrender all IOUs and notes that they had taken for debts. The council, however, took the cash that the Jews possessed and divided it amongst the working men proportionally. The money was indeed the thing that killed the Jews. If they had been poor, and if the feudal lords had not been in debt to them, they would not have been burnt. After this wealth was divided amongst the artisans, some gave their share to the cathedral or to the church on the advice of their confessors. Thus were the Jews burnt at Strasbourg, and in the same year in all the cities of the Rhine, whether free cities or imperial cities or cities belonging to the lords. In some towns they burnt the Jews after a trial, in others without a trial. In some cities the Jews themselves set fire to their houses and cremated themselves.